Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome to what I'm really hoping this time is the finale of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light. We are just about at the point to where we're just about finished. I'm going to do a little bit more here, and then I'm going to be done. Um, so I sort of revealed... A what we're about to do with Master Hand and Crazy Hand in the last episode. I'm going to hold off on that a bit because I want to take on the remaining spirits before we, you know, commence what I'm assuming is about to be the final battle. The real final battle. Because this is it. We're finally at the final battle. Okay, uh, yep. Yeah. I would assume that Mother Brain would make her dramatic appearance. Yeah, what do you think of that? You think I'm that Mother Brain? Die! Okay, I failed to defeat Mother Brain that time. Although, I did manage to defeat Mother Brain. So that takes care of that. Next spirit. We're just gonna go on spirit after spirit at this point. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. This will be interesting. The enemy occasionally turn metal when the enemy's at high damage. And metal's nothing to me at this point. And finished. <laughs> the Mennonite main triple cannon was targeting it too. We're targeting him, Nosh. I think that said Nosh. I didn't pay attention to the name. Uh, light's starting to take advantage again. How many more do we have left to go at this point? Because we really don't have a lot left to go until we're done here. We got Thanatos. <coughs> Could never... Alright, hold on. <clears throat> Sorry about that interference, everyone, with the with the video. I just I had to let that out of me. Ooh, take that! So we're gonna take out all the remaining spirits first things first, and then we're gonna do that cool thing I saw that we did last episode. So that was really cool looking. I gotta say. But we're gonna take out all the remaining spirits. Starting with the remaining dark spirits. Hopefully it doesn't make Galeem too powerful that Galeem ends up winning the war, cause that's kinda not where I wanna go. Come on. There we go. We got him. <clears throat> Rouge the bat. We got you, Rouge. We're gonna save them all now. All these spirits that were once under Gleam's control Earth and Darkons. It's all coming to an end. Alright, we got Captain K. Rule. Okay, enemy's neutral special has increased power. Stamina battle. The enemy is invisible after a little while. Okay, good hitting, I'll admit.
Okay, well... Sure. Take that. Or that, sure. No. No, 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 no. No, you don't, K. Roll. You may be powerful, but it's going to take more than that to defeat me. I don't think so, K. Roll. Ha ha ha! Now it's my turn to finish you off, K. Roll. Bam! Get blasted. Alright, that might be the last Dark Spirit, and if so, that might make Gleam a bit powerful. I don't know. There's the possibility. So I'm not fully sure here. Let's take a look at the path. Oh no, it's kind of hard to see the entire pathway. Hold on, we need to take out a few Light Spirits, I think. So I would like to look at the entire pathway. I kind of can't do it with a bit too much light. <clears throat> I do really like, though, that you can ch specifically choose who you side with in this war. Alright, we've got Chibi Robo. Let's take care of Chibi Robo. For the final, uh, for the final battle, they're not really throwing that much of very powerful spirits at me. You would really think they would do better than that. This is the final battle, not the absolutely pathetic fight where everyone goes down way too easily. But I think we've taken out just about every single Dark Spirit. So I'm not really finding much of anything else here. Besides some of these Light Spirits. So I think we've gotten just about all the Dark Spirits. So that technically leaves only the Light Spirits. And then we can move on to what I'm really hoping this time is the final boss. Because not once but twice now... Have I been doofed into thinking I was at the final boss only for it to turn out to be wrong and... Come on. Oh, temporarily invincibility, really? No. I refuse to accept that kind of invincibility. Da -na 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 -na. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Oh boy, we got a tough guy over here. What else do we got? We got. We're back over by Master Hand and Crazy Hand. There's another one over there. So, are those the last three? Cause I don't fully know here. We've got that pathway again. I think this is it, folks. Only three spirits left. And then we're done here. I can't fully tell what else there'd be. We just gotta assist with Master Hand and Crazy Hand with whatever they're scheming. And then we're gonna have a fun time with the final boss, hopefully. Go! Be the third to last time we'll ever hear that again. No! Okay, never mind. Fourth to last time. I might regret saying that. Looks like, this is the last of the war. We just have to take down the remaining light spirits. 
And then we've pretty much fought every battle at this point. Alright, you really think that you're gonna be able to pull that kind of stuff off of against me? Ooh! Take that, our, um, what is this, Eve? Take that, Eve. We're, almost, we're very close now. Only two spirits left. We only have two to go. Here we go, baby Mario. Enemy shields often. Okay. So this is it. We are just about at the end. Defeat the main fighter to win. Okay, we just gotta focus on attacking the main fighter. Bam! Okay, that was simple. Can be enhanced at level 99, okay. Leaving just one more spirit, and then that, all that's left to do will be to finish off Galeem and Darkon. Look at that, the balance is straightened one last time. It won't be shifting anymore. Leaving just Gwili. Okay, stamina battle, hostile assist trophies will appear. All fighters have reduced jump power. Let's go. I'm excited, folks. We've taken everyone down at this point. We've conquered the Realm of Light. Oh, I don't like those projectiles. Could you stop with those projectiles? I'm really not liking those. Okay. Hit him. Wait, what? How is that assist trophy still not down? There we go. Was really getting annoyed by that assist trophy. Okay, I want to stay a safe distance. And, of course, I failed to say stay a safe distance from the assist trophy. And it somehow wasn't enough to finish me off. Okay. <laughs> you almost dodged it. So close. But you barely went into the wrong direction. Well, that ends that. Onward to the final boss, folks. We've saved just about everyone at this point. Oh, 99 skill points. If only we had a little bit more, we would be good. But we don't. But this is it, folks. It is time for the final battle. The true final battle of all of this. I am I know I'm in the middle of a video, but many times I've done this before and it worked okay. I'm going to save progress. This is going to be awesome. I sort of spoiled a little bit of what was going to happen in the previous episode because I got a bit impatient even though I was running out of time but let's do this folks let's go this is going to be awesome oh I'm going to have so much fun with this I can tell compared to what I experienced at the start of the last episode I know I'm going to have fun t a fun time with this oh boy I did not expect what happened, and I'm disappointed that it got partially spoiled for this moment. Look at this! You have to admit that this is awesome. <laughs> yes! Oh, that feels good! We literally get to play as Master... Okay, I thought it was Crazy Hand before, but... It doesn't matter too much, because this is still awesome. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever seen. Get out of here.
get out of here. <laughs> the way he just snaps his fingers and just... That will be the best thing I've seen all day. This is awesome, okay? If anyone differs to agree... Bam, 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 bam. Oh, wait, wrong button. Ooh. Bam. 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 <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this, guys. This is awesome. Just get them all. Forget everything I said before all the annoyances I take it all back this is the best thing I've ever seen you get to play as master hand creator of the smash brothers universe <laughs> I'm in I, I love this However, Sakurai manages to amaze us. I've got to say, I, I love this. The fact that he managed to pull something like this off just massively impresses me. <laughs> I just can't believe this is a thing. I get to wipe out all of Gleam and Darkon's fighters. Everything that they created, we're wiping it all out. We're ending it. This ends here and now. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Normally, Master Hand, like, being the creator of the Super Smash Brothers universe is kind of known to be the bit of the bad guy, especially with the fact that he's the, you know, usually the final boss of the classic mode. But I gotta say, this is awesome. Okay, stop hitting me. You all need to go down. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> ah, I'm having so much fun with this. Yes, get them all. Finish them. Come on. We almost got him, folks. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, I love that. Best thing I've seen all day. Alright, what do you two think of that? There's nothing. We've destroyed your world. You've conquered both light and darkness. Take that that was amazing I gotta say what's gonna happen now now that oh boy <laughs> oh they're both angry now Oh, wait, I didn't get any skill points from that. That was so cool. Oh, boy. All right, you two are going to get it now. We have destroyed all that you were aiming for. Oh, let's get them, fellas. This music. I get to choose my fighters? Hold on, yes. Absolute, okay. Of course I'm playing as my boy Samus. Now, I'm going to have to think carefully with all the fighters that I've used on this adventure. Let's have in second place the Wii Fit Trainer, because you know the Wii Fit Trainer was also a pretty good fighter. And then, to top it all off, I'm going to go with my boy... 
boy Marth where's Marth at? I know I <laughs> now I have too many fighters, but yes, the fa the best fighters that I always liked playing as I get to have all three of them with me here. That's gonna be awesome. Oh boy, this isn't gonna be easy. But we're at the point of no return. We've reached the final battle. Which means that this is it, folks. We've nearly 100%ed everything. I am ready to fight with everything I've got. I have the most insanest, ins the most insane team possible, the most powerfulest spirit possible with the insanely high attack power, insanely high defense, and sell P for a great auto heal. Let's get them, fellas. Galeem wiped us out at the start of the game. And now we're going to take them both out. This is awesome. I'll admit this is quite interesting. The way we've intervened in this... What is this? Um, Could someone explain to me why is... Oh, is it an auto-scroller? Yep, it's an auto-scroller. Great. Well, at least I can charge up an attack while I'm at it. Hello? Are they fighting? Is Light and Darkness still fighting each other? Even after we've taken them both out? I can see Galeem up in the distance. Yeah, we have to... This is awesome. This has got to be the best thing I've seen all day. Alright, take that. You really think you could defeat us with these basic... Stop throwing these basic fighters at us and come up here and more proper... Alright, we didn't need that Metamato, but I took it anyway. Probably wasn't a good idea. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, we're going there. We're going to cheap tactics, huh? Oh, hello there, Darkon. What? Y'all don't mind if I... Ow! Yeah, get back there. Oh, did I actually have to fight him there? I'm still impressed. He did that much damage to me? I just realized how much damage that gave me. Okay, where is Gleam? He has his wings spread all around me here, yet I see no sign of him anywhere. Alright, just get to, to the next battlefield already. What is the design of this battlefield? It's like a wrecked version of Final Destination. Final, The regular Final Destination already has uh, a wrecked looking version of the previous game's Final Destination. This is cool, though. They're still, in a way, kind of... The light and the darkness are still technically kind of fighting each other. But this is awesome. Oh, hey, I get the crown. Alright, what do you think of that, little Mac? you find that cool or what? This is the most amazing final battle I've ever seen. Alright. What happens if I refuse the metal tomato? Or maximum tomato? Whatever that's specifically supposed to be called. Alright, are we having to fight Darkon? Push back Darkon again? I gotta say, I'm really liking this though. See, can I... I'm guessing that allows me to refill my jetpack. Making it easier for me to jump this stuff. Okay, good hit. I'll admit. Ah! Oh, what is happening? Oh, jeez. Getting right back into the insanity. Very good thing I have Celebi healing me. Otherwise, I would be pretty far down. Even though it is supplying me with maximum tomatoes. This is still being pretty harsh on me. Okay, make sure they're fighting at an equal battle, guys. It's a fair battle for everyone. 
You guys aren't exactly making it very fair. But this is cool. I like how they're still fighting each other like you might in an actual Smash Brothers match. Oh, geez, I took down both Lightners, or sorry, Light Fighters. I'm still really amazed by this. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, Galeem! Oh, gee. Galeem, stop filling the room with your presence. Okay, this is really cool, I gotta say. We have to take them both out. I sort of like how this came down. What originally started out as like both of them fighting each other now in a way they're still kind of fighting each other but in a way they're but it's like a three on three fight to the death two bad guys versus two good guys and I gotta say I really like the oh geez bob bombs ah! oh no oh geez I'm get getting a little freaked out but then the game keeps supplying me with jet packs to make it easier to perform double jumps. Okay, sort of uh, lured me in the wrong direction there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What? What is Gleam doing in the distance? Okay, and Darkon. Since I'm getting healed, I'm just gonna take some time to admire what's happened. Technically, both Gleam and Darkon are kind of still, I think, going at each other a little bit. What's interesting is the fact that their, like, light and dark fighters aren't blowing up like they were before. Are we... Just wondering, I'm not paying much attention, but are we going up against every single fighter in a light or dark form? I haven't been paying attention to that, so I have no idea. Oh, geez, there's too many dark fighters on screen. Okay. Takes care of that. Oh, geez, there's too many dark fighters on screen again. But yeah, these guys are pretty much pathetic. I just... I can still easily wipe them out with the screw attack. Alright, that's it, Gleam and Darkon. Your time is up. This is awesome. I've been waiting a long time for this. Ever since Galeem wiped us all out, I've been excited to wipe out Galeem for good. And although we had our chance once before, the fact that they're... Excuse me. Could someone explain to me what's happening? Oh. I feel like I... Oh, we... we're going up against all the bosses. I like how they're still technically fighting each other. Even though, okay, I should probably get out of that. Ah! No, you don't. Ah! Oh, jeez. Not the missiles. Oh, no. Ah! Take that. That's one down. One bad pass down. I gotta say, this is really cool, though. We're basically interme intervening with the clash between light and darkness. And... I'm not sure if we're just going to wipe them both out or if we're going to return, like, order to the forces of light and darkness. Alright, that's going to do nothing. Ah! Get ready, and... Oh, 
Oh, he turned into bats and dodged my attack. Oh, hey, you're really close now. Oh, that's right. Certain orbs heal. Some hurt me. This is amazing. I gotta say. Ow. Okay. Okay, how did that miss? Get ready. Yeah, I know I'm holding back, and that's because I'm taking some time to heal. Yeah, and, alright, assume your true form, buddy. Already dealt massive damage to you. You know, we could do that. You know, technically, I could just keep doing this all day. Alright, come on. You just have a little ways to go until you're finished. There we go. And that we still got all three of our fighters intact. Which is nice. I right, take on that dark thing there and see what we're about to come across here. We're taking on all of the fighters. All the or at least all the bosses. First we went up against I think light and dark versions of every single fighter. Now it's a light Oh jeez. Oh, that was not a good idea. Oh, jeez. What is he doing? Oh, Calamity Ganon's beam. Ah! Oh, jeez. Every time I go one way, he always... That's the one thing that annoyed me about fighting Gan is that he always turn keeps turning around, making it hard for me to hit him because I can only hit him in the tail. So that's the only place I can seem to hit him. Okay. Bam. Oh, they're actually trying to hit me now. So I got to hit these start hitting these bosses quick if I want to beat them. So I'm not going to have a lot of time to hit them. Oh, jeez. Take that. I gotta say, this is awesome, though. Even if this is, like... A culmination of every boss, like most what most games do. Which most game? Oh, I miss that. I think I have to directly hit that in the head in order to s properly stun them with it. Here we go. Getting some good hits. Oh, come on. One more good hit. Yes! We almost got them all. That, then it'll just leave Galeem and Dark on. After so much of them slacking off. Alright, I think I hit Giga Bowser first. I cannot fully tell. But I'm getting healed way too much. Don't really need to heal much. All right, come on, let's go. I 
I can't seem to stun him. I gotta find a proper point to hit him good. You know what would be funny if I could actually use grab attacks? I wonder if it's possible for me to use grab... Nope. Even though it's Giga Bowser, no, not really much of any room for grab attacks. I'm getting hit pretty hard, though. So I should probably be a bit careful. But Giga Bowser's down. Leaving, I don't know how many more. The darkness is starting to take advantage again. We can't let the darkness win. We can't let either side win. If we take them... We gotta keep the balance well maintained still, even after all that's happened up to this point. We still have to maintain the balance between light and darkness. How many more times we're going to have to maintain the balance? Okay, well. So I don't know how many more times we're going to have to go as far as to maintain the balance of light and darkness. Alright, you ain't going to hit us with that. Okay. Come on. I just need one more hit. Oh, come on. You're seriously opening that up again. No, no, no. Don't knock me off the stage. Dad! I literally just need one more hit. There you go. Take that, Marks. Leaving, I don't know how many more there are. I got them all, okay. I gotta say, this is cool though. It's a, I think it's a very good thing I went down this route, because I got to play as Master Hand, I got to wipe them both out. And now both of them are probably mad at me. I'm not sure if it's still the usual. Whoever I take out first factor is going to apply here. Cause... Wait, why didn't the... So we're going to make sure we're, they both get taken out. Oh, I really don't like that. But in a way, they're still kind of fighting each other. Well, still though, I could still do some stuff. This is awesome. I guess okay, take them out in equal numbers. Make sure one doesn't have the advantage over the other. If I keep Oh, I can it I didn't know I could attack that. That's kind of funny actually. Their attacks are actually negating the other's attacks at points. That's so funny. They're at times too busy fighting each other that they don't really take much of any time to attack me directly. Alright. Darkon's down, so... <laughs> See what I mean, guys? One's too busy taking out the other to really try to do much of anything about it. And I really find that funny, because... It just shows goes to show how much one hates the other, and... Uh oh Oh, what's happening? What is this? They'd never unleashed this attack before. This is a unique attack that they did not unleash before. What was that? Well, no matter. They're still going at each other. There we go. I think I just stunned Galeem. Give me some time to attack Darkon. Although, I kind of want to get some hits done on... Oh! Galeem is mad. Both of them are mad now. Both of them are very mad. And they're still... <laughs> okay, I find that really funny. How both of their attacks are pretty much negating the other... Oh, jeez, what is that? I don't like that thing that's following me. Oh, you just charge like a... Like, that was like a spirit bomb or something. 
This is awesome, though. I gotta say, though. Up, oh, they're summoning the bomb fighters again. And they're still fighting each other, too. Which I still find quite funny. Ah, oh, they teleport away right at the last second. Ow, okay. That kind of comboed me, but... That's funny, though. How there's that much amount of de I mean, they're still kind of trying to directly attack me, but their attacks are interfering with the other's attacks. You would think two heads would be better than one, but technically two heads aren't always better than one if they can't cooperate well and their attacks get in the way of the others. That is a fact that you all should know. Two heads aren't always better than one if they can't cooperate well. So, m nice little words of wisdom from me to you. Uh oh, what is that? I'm sc I don't know what just happened. A bit of unique attacks, which I can't really tell what's happening here. Aim for gl and I keep missing them the moment they teleport away. Ow! I'm getting comboed. No, 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 don't get comboed. Uh oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm getting comboed. Do not get comboed. That is a fact of the hour. I do not want to happen. Alright, Darkon's almost down, though. I'm gonna focus on... Okay, I'm not focusing... We're gonna take them out equally. So I'm gonna make sure that I I'll make sure Darkon goes out at first, at least, and then finish off Galim. They're just taking each other out at this point, pretty much. I can't see what's happening too much. It's too much. I can't. Oh! Alright, this is my chance to finish off Darkon. While well, Galeem's nearly finished. Alright, I'm betting that's the finishing blow for... Finish off... Okay. Darkon's been reduced to just about nothing at this point. So far, I haven't died yet, which is quite interesting with... I get that I have Celebi on my team, but... Didn't expect me to do that good. Alright, finish off Darkon. Oh, there goes Samus. We were so close. But there goes Galeem as well. <laughs> that was a good fight. I gotta say, I really like it when the game has that much... De okay, don't go down now. We fit, trainer. Not that it really matters because we still had Marth. But, wow, that was a good final battle. I really liked how it went into that much detail of the two, like, going at each other. And since they were at war with each other, they really couldn't fight us. Because their attacks kept interfering with the other's attacks. That was really what good detail, and I found that very enjoyable. That puts an end to both Galeem and Darkon. The light, the evil light and the evil darkness are finished. Dramatic explosion time, come on. Yes! Dramatic explosion time. Bam! Ha! <laughs> <coughs> Sorry to ruin the moment with that cough, but... I gotta allow things to end here. We did it, folks. We even Oh, we get the theme song again. Yes, all the spirits, they're free. Gleam and Darkon have no control over them anymore. What is this? Oh! All the spirits, we fr we freed all of them, folks. We did it. And with that... We saved the day. I gotta admit, that was a good ending. 
I think I did pick the better route by taking out both Galim and Darkon. I don't fully know what would have happened if we support a specific side. But I do really like how that went down. I also find it funny how when we would stun Galim or Darkon, they would unleash a powerful attack on the other. That was great. I like that fight, how, like, kind of, like, they weren't really cooperating well. They were still fighting each other. And I was able to use that to my advantage to wipe them out. That was great. In a way, our intervening with all of this is what caused it to all to end. It's like, I'm betting if Galim and Darkon... Or, sorry, if simply Galim never tried to enslave us in the first place. More parts of the song? What is this? Hold on. What is this? I gotta say, this was awesome. To think that this all started out with simply Gleam trying to throw some stuff at us. But this is it. We freed... We freed everyone. With everyone now freed... Oh my goodness. That felt good. But yeah, there's... I'm betting there's definitely two other endings to this game. With the fact that, you know... You can choose to support Galim or Darkon, and... That could cause two other endings that might not be as good as this. But I still really like th the ending here. This was great. I like this entire game from start to finish. I don't know what Master Hand and Crazy Hand are going to do. I found that to be very enjoyable right there where I actually got to play as Master Hand. That was so much fun. I just wish it wasn't spoiled to me at the end of the last episode. I probably should have waited a little bit to look at that. But yeah, I will admit I got a bit impatient with this. In fact, right, I'm still technically impatient because it's actually pretty late at night right now. And, yeah, not the best time to be recording. So I'm sure others in the house... Well, technically, there's one other person in the house right now that's probably wanting to get some sleep at some point. But for the most part, this was great from start to finish. Like, maybe some annoying moments with some of the spirits... But I gotta say, this was probably one of the best event. I would actually consider this adventure mode to be better than Subspace Emissary. Like, Subspace Emissary was pretty good at points. Um, specifically, it's awesome, like, HD cutscenes and all. With its high-quality cutscenes, making... That was the one standing point that really made Subspace Emissary good. Because almost everything else about it, it was decent at, le at best. But yeah. When compared... Look, when comparing this to like Subspace Emissary or maybe some of the other single player adventure modes... This one is by far the best out of all of them. The way they went about that, especially that final, that was probably the best part. One of the best things in a video game is always the final battle, and like, that's why I'm always so hyped for the final battles. Like, it leaves a lasting impact, and that definitely left a lasting impact with how I went about that. And maybe offline, I'm, I think offline, I'll maybe tr play through the adventure mode again. Maybe this time I'll play it on hard mode. Of course, it's going to be offline because I'm going to end the Let's Play here. This was a good ending. I don't want to go any farther. I've done just about everything at this point. 
Very well done. I didn't get to see who the executive producer of that was, but I'm guessing it's going to be Daddy Sakurai, isn't it? Good old Daddy Sakurai. It might not have been, but Sakurai has always been like the main guy pres at like the Nintendo Directs presenting this game. And always blows our minds with the fighters he introduces and stuff he adds into the game. Every time, Sakurai knows how to do good. And I gotta say, like, back when he first introduced the whole, like, spirit stuff, at first it looked like some boring thing. Bane of Darkness? Excuse me, what? What is this? Oh, one final spirits for finishing the adventure mode. Okay. And Darka. Okay, wow. Good adventure mode. Very good. But with that... Yes, as you can see there, we have it cleared. I don't fully know what happens if I... Wait, New Game Plus? Wait a minute, completion's only 99.67%? What? No, 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 no. What did I miss here? Hold on. I checked carefully it. Ah, oh, ha, funny. Excuse me, what's going on here? Oh, wait a minute. I could choose to fight each of them individually. Wait a minute. Is this the route where I choose, like, how I'm going to end this? But if so, then I do kind of wonder, why is it that, hold on, wait a minute, so does that mean somewhere I missed a spirit? Because I feel like I've looked everywhere, I may need to do a full elaborate search of all the worlds again, because I feel like I've got everything. What could I have possibly missed? that we're still not done yet. What did I miss? Could someone explain that to me, please? What I missed? Because according to what I'm seeing here, it seems like I got everything. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing, though, three, like, bridges, and I'm guessing, depending on which is these bridges up here I choose to take on who I get to t take on first. I'm betting it is going to like sort of depend on who I'm going to support and how this all ends. Let's just see here. Although we've already defeated the final boss, I don't see what else there is to do. So I'm going to see what happens if I choose an individual one because I don't see where else I could go with this. So what happens if we take on Galeem? Hold on here. A little bit of extra for you guys this episode. I wasn't planning on doing this, but even though we finished the game already, but I'm gonna see what happens if we choose. Like, so I could choose which of which final boss I want. I definitely liked. I think the best one, without question, will be fighting them both at the same time. Just the way it went about that was really cool. Like, you could choose which one you get to take. So I'm guessing if I choose to fight them individually it would like sort of be me siding with a side and that's going to decide the ending. Who knows, may I have to get all three endings to 100% this file because I would think I've collected everything. What am I missing? Because I kept track of the areas and everything and made sure I got everything. I really made sure I got ev absolutely everything. What could I have possibly missed? That's what I want to know. So I would not think I would have missed... Okay, so yeah, the attacks they were unleashing before, they still use on you. Except this time, it's a bit more proper this time, so it feels more like a proper one-on-one -on -one fight. Okay, that was my bad. Oh, hey, Darkon. How's your day been?
Oh! Okay, I forgot that happens. I better not actually lose... I can only use one fighter at, in this battle, it seems. Alright, time for the bomb fighters. Huh. Oh, why did I walk right into that? Stunned you again, Darkon. Alright, make sure that shot counts. Yes, that shot counted. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh, one more hit. There we go. So let's just see what here what happens if we choose to take out one or the other. So although we've already defeated him once before, for some reason we gotta take him out again. So what does that mean? So what happens if we choose to go up against one specific one? Also, I would think we'd have enough to fully, like, level up the skill tree. Why do I not have enough? So if we choose to aim directly for Darkon, what does that do? Does that just allow Galeem to win? Pretty much? Because it's pretty much what we did. Okay, I will admit that was pretty cool looking. Watching the light wipe Darkon out like that. So I will admit that was pretty good. So how what does Galeem do now since Galeem seemed to have received victory this time around in this version of the ending? Another flash of light and continues to wipe everyone out. So pretty much yeah, we let Galeem win that time. Once again. So that's pretty much how that way goes. Okay. Oh, it doesn't even end that time, so... That was pretty much just bad end. Okay, I think we're a bit closer to... Com so yeah, the first ending we got, according to this, is the true ending. So yeah, definitely, it was a good, very good thing I chose to maintain a balance between light and darkness. Otherwise, we would have been messed up big time. At least we got a skill point, so at least I can get one more upgrade. Uh, so I could choose the additional mid-air jump. Or I can choose weapon resist. Uh, let's go with weapon resist. I don't think I need, most of the time, too much of an additional mid-air jump. Though at times, it could really come in handy. You know what? Let's go with the additional mid-air jump. We're already extremely powerful. So let's go with the weapon resist. Actually, let's take a look at the shops to see if they're selling any skill points at the moment. In which, no, they're not. I know this is not time a good time to be looking at the shops, but I want to see if they have any skill points. for. Okay, I'll buy that since that's on sale. If you ever see something on sale, it's always a good idea to seize that opportunity. Especially with the fact that in case you can't tell, I have a pretty good amount of cash on hand at the moment. Here we go. Here's some skill points. Some skill spears. So I better start keeping an eye out for those, because I'm going to need those. Ooh, some more on sale spirits. Okay, I don't think we need another halberd. Let's get that. I do kind of find this interesting. So... Okay, that's a bit interesting, though, because according to m one of my friends... Uh, oh, no, we already have one of those. According to one of my friends, who has, you know, played through this entire game, um, they claimed Galeem to be a bit misguided or something. In which I don't really see how, seeing how, you know, when we let Galeem win... Gleam pretty much, as we, you just saw, wiped everyone out. So why would we want the two, like, want one of them to win? Because they're both bad guys, so... When you look at it like that, 
it pretty much was a really good thing that we p picked the route that... No! I never knew that, though, that we could destroy the bombs or some of those other projectiles. Oh, no. Yeah, at least I had a better time avoiding it that time. We died to Galeem once before, so let's see if we can withstand Galeem's attacks again this time. Oh! Okay, I forgot about that attack. I thought he sh they were about to unleash a bunch of bomb fighters on me, but no. It was something I did not expect, I'll admit. There we go. Now Galeem's angry. Oh, jeez. We got the light ooze coming at me again. So that would have been quite interesting. So what would have happened if we had, like... You know, like, only... What would have happened if, like, we uh, took on enough spirits that, like, maybe we couldn't get to any of the dark or light spirits? Because that would have been rather interesting. Like, I would have have known, like, how that would have ended at that point, because... You know? Ah! Oh, jeez. Nice try, Galeem, but... So let's just see here. Oh boy, bomb fighter time. Ah! No, 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 Okay. That was close. I do kind of wish I could have done this first before going to the actual route that would take us to the true ending. Because, uh, yeah, obviously these bad endings are not quite as good as the... So pretty much, if we take only one of them out first, that allows one side to win. And we really did not want the, uh, both sides to win. So pretty much, what we've essentially done is we've really messed stuff up. So my question is, will that be enough for me to have 100% of the game? Because I really want to know. I want to finish this with a nice, good old 100%. So that will pretty much cause the darkness to take hold. So what will that cause? What will Darkon do with Darkon in control? Or <laughs> so we've just taken out Galeem. What's that going to do? Oh! Get chained, Gleam. Oh! I will admit these are pretty cool looking. Watching that dramatic finisher. Wha okay, these bad endings are actually kind of creepy. I'll admit. Oh, that was the thing we saw in the credits. Okay. So that's what happens if we let Darkon win. Okay, and let me guess, is that, yep, alright, please, somebody, yes, full completion, we did it, folks, I'm not sure if I could do that before, though, but we've done it, we have fully completed the game, I'm not sure at all what else there is to do in the game, because I'm pretty sure we did everything, if I haven't completed, like, the full-on challenges I really don't know what it's gonna take let me see let me go check out the challenges and see here I should have just about everything unlocked here what okay gleam slash dark on that we got the masked man spirit we've got the dragoon okay what all do we got here winning all the I got the achievement for winning in all the battles and clearing the adventure mode Okay, that one's for awakening all the fighters. What is this? Um, See the true ending. Okay. Yeah, that was a real nice ending. So what all do I need to do here? Start new game. Oh, I have to specifically... Wait, as Ganondorf, clear the first stage of the final battle without being knocked out. Win in the final round without being knocked out. Oh, come on. Obtain all adventure skills. Okay, those... 
I'll probably do those offline because we've already finished the game. Clear adventure for the for, yep. Defeated Gleam and Darkon at the same time. Cleared all the battles on the map. We fully cleared the adventure mode. Many songs have been added to my music. Okay. So those are some nice add-ons for fully 100 percenting the adventure mode. So we've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have fully completed the adventure mode. And with that, I think I'm going ahead and wrap things up. But that was nice. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and save it here. We've done everything. I don't fully know what the new game plus will do. I'll probably get some of the remaining challenges and then, you know, do some other stuff, but... Neat routing. So, that does make me kind of wonder, then, what would have hap... Like... It makes me wonder a few things. Like, what would have happened if we... When we got around towards, like, light or darkness taking advantage... What would have happened if we got to the point to where there was too much darkness that we couldn't exactly do anything against the light? That would have been very interesting. And maybe I'll try that out on some separate game files. But So yeah, on my own time, I'm going to take a look at all of this. But with that, let's go ahead and talk about my final thoughts on this game at the moment. fact that we're about done here I gotta say this was nice uh, let me say it one more time with bringing them up so my final thoughts on the adventure mode oh another activity complete my final thoughts on the adventure mode I thought it was real nice it was definitely nicer than what I got from Subspace Emissary, and a much nicer final boss, too. Like, if you were to just go up against Gleam or Darkon individually, you would have gotten one of those bad endings. And I like how your actions can make the impact. You, you can kind of pick a side, but either way, it's kind of a bad ending, because, you know, as mentioned before, with I've played plenty of games like Kingdom Hearts, and you've seen me play, you may or may not have seen me play Chapter 1 of Delta Rune. And yet, yeah, know that, yeah, there has to be balance between light and darkness. Otherwise, as you've just seen, the world's going to explode or something. But with that, those are my, my thoughts. So, for the adventure mode of this game, if I guess it depends on if you're into fighting games or not. Because although... But I gotta say, even though I'm not that big into fighting games, Super Smash Bros. Is, is still a real nice fighting game. Definitely real popular with all the hype that this got. Like, back in E3 2018, like, which was nearly a year ago at this point, because I think we're currently approaching the, um, or at least at the time I'm recording this, um, are currently approaching the E3... 2019 and with it being near uh, by the time I'm recording this with it being nearly a year since um, that E3 where he pretty much stole the entire show by focusing half the E3 presentation on uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and I gotta say this game definitely lived up to the hype they did a very good job announcing it, and it was exactly how they hyped up our expectations. So well done, Sakurai and you know Nintendo and everyone else that whose names were just shown in the credits. I liked, I did kind of enjoy playing through this adventure mode from start to finish. Some spirit battles, I kind of didn't enjoy, which. You don't have to completely go as far as to 100% this game like I did. Which I personally did because, you know, I'm kind of a bit of a completionist. So, 
I would say you definitely do not need to go as far as to fully complete the adventure mode. If you're a bit of a minor completionist like I am and you see that you can easily make the time to fully complete a game since it's nice and linear and like you can take your time to find everything unlike some of the vast massive open world games like Skyrim and Breath of the Wild like I would say if you want to go as far as to complete it, okay but I if you think you're satisfied by the point where you finished simply finished the game that's all right but with that everyone that puts an end to this let's play I gotta say with the time that I'm finishing some of these let's plays like I'm not sure if uh, by the time I've uploaded this I've finished the Spyro let's play yet but by the time I've recorded this it's been a little bit of a few days or maybe even weeks since I finished the Spyro let's play but with that um yeah I'm just gonna leave it at this even though well, let's take it back to the main menu screen. We're done here. With that, ladies and gentlemen, that ends another Let's Play. I think... I'm not sure what I'm going to Let's Play next. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to Let's Play next, because I am kind of wanting to look around for my, some other Let's Plays, because for the most part, uh, by the time I'm recording this... The only thing I really have left to record are Toho series, and I don't really want this to become a full-on Toho channel. Um, who knows what I'll do, because, you know, if you guys want, I could record myself playing, like, the hard mode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I could, um, play a variety of games for you guys. I know there's definitely a few unfinished Let's Plays on my channel, which there's good good reason why I've left it them unfinished, and I didn't even bother to make a playlist for those unfinished series. Well, except Skyrim. I thought that was a series I was going to fully complete, but really, it wasn't getting a lot of attention, so I figured, get rid of it, because no one's watching it. But with that, guys, let me know in the comments below, and maybe... Not that I think about it, with all that, with the amount of popularity my channel has gotten at this point, I think it's about time um, we go back to the very first game we Let's Played on this channel. Uh, if I don't really seem to be getting a whole lot of like requests on any games to play, good games to play, but maybe... With the fact that, you know, all that's really left to do a, to mainstream as a Let's Play, it being Toho, I think I'm going to focus more towards, uh, I think I'm going to start back up a Let's Play that I kind of had to end a long time ago for specific reasons that I stopped, like, the moment I got this g high quality gaming PC. A Let's Play that I think. I'm going to leave as a bit of a secret for now, as a means to keep you guys hyped up. I think I'm going to be restarting this pl Let's Play of this. For those of you who have been around ever since the channel started, you may know what I'm talking about. I don't think I have that many uploads that you could easily scroll down to the bottom of my uploads list and look at like the first videos I've uploaded. And if they're not on there at the day you're watching this, then there's a good possibility that... Either I deleted them or something, I don't know, but I'm going to go and restart a Let's Play that I started when I first started up this channel. I'm sure a lot of you who've been around for a while will know what I mean, and I'm going to leave it as a secret, as a means of leaving it for a bit of hype, and who knows, maybe some other game will come around that I'll do a Let's Play of, but until then... This is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent, everyone.